to anything at the level of per person emissions that the United States is at. And so from our perspective, as our stand, the question is how to think about these questions not in absolute terms, the United States as a country as a whole, or China as a country as a whole, but in a much more sophisticated way, nuanced way, that looks at questions like how much is being emitted per person, how robust is the economy on a per person basis, and then also how equitable are emissions within a country. And in China, you can look at the ways in which certain parts of the country and certain economic sectors are in fact emitting much more than if you look at other parts of the country. The western part of China, many people are only making $2 a day, and they are not the ones who are responsible for emissions. So just to have, when it gets to the fairness and equity issues, and you know, I direct the Center for Global Ethics, which is what we think about them on a daily basis, I think that you don't want to back yourself into a corner where the equitable outcome, and David didn't say this, but people might hear something like this, in the implication that somehow it would be fair for China to eventually have the per capita emissions of the United States. It would be morally irresponsible for other countries to have the per capita emissions of the United States because they're way too high, right? So the aspiration should be, and this is the right measure, David put it this way, and I like this quite a lot, was to say, can you have a robust economy with lower per capita emissions? You can. The Europeans have proven it. And that should be the model that everyone should aspire to. So if that requires China to go up and potentially even exceed the per capita emissions of the EU, fine. Requires the United States to go down, right? So the measure of success should not be everyone gets as high as the most profligate emitter the world has ever known, namely us, but for us to all to stabilize at a more equitable share that can still sustain a healthy economy. And from your monitoring of China, do you think they are going in the right direction? I think they're going in the right direction. I think we're going in the right direction. But again, with China, they're not doing enough. For example, the Chinese have insisted that they cannot take an absolute cut in emission reductions as the United States has voluntarily said that it would do, as the European Union has put itself under a binding agreement to say it will do by 2020. They will only cut on carbon intensity. So that's carbon emissions relative to some unit of economic growth. And that 